all right welcome back to a new series called day r survival now i'm not new to the game but this series will be new mainly because i have not recorded anything of my gameplay but i will be restarting the game to re-beat it because there is new updates new items and things in the game that will help you progress through the story mode and they're all new so we're gonna start on the online version we don't need the tutorial and we're going to online all right let's get started with episode one searching for the truth all right the city greeted me with dead silence i walked forward and stumbled upon an unsightly crater left by an explosion was there a war i have to gather as many supplies as i can medicine food clothes Let's check the let's check the pharmacy first. All right, let's checking for items. We got water, food, and insulating tape. So when I was playing a long time ago, insulating tape used to be super super rare. I think it still is, but no, I think because you can buy from the NPCs now. But let's keep searching. We got flint, wood, and cans. All right, let's go to the pharmacy. We have a note on the pharmacy counter. Attention residents of Zapolironi. By order of the mayor's office, all shipments of medicine have been rerouted to the field hospital at the school. Medication will be provided in exchange of ration stamps. To get these ration stamps, please see the pharmacy manager. We have some new advice here. Large locations are composed of several areas, library, classrooms, gyms, and canteen. Try to search each area separately. All right, we have some more reading to do. All right, that, we already read that. Based on what I've seen, the city has hit with, based on what I've seen, the city was hit with some kind of illness. This was a real epidemic. They even set up a field hospital at the location at the local school in an attempt to deal with the influx of sick people. All right, we're going to the gym now, the school gym. Everything looks better, by the way. I love the way they, they mark out all the things that you've already searched to let you know that you've already been there. Hmm, we're in the school gym and we have ex evacuation schedule. We have more food, water, and a saucepan. We need that for later on. Evacuation schedule. Train 004 Zaporizhzhia to Murmansk. Train 005 Zaporizhzhia to Murmansk. It seems like everything's going to Murmansk at different time zones. Or well, different times. Train rosters will be posted on September 9th. Sep September 19th. All right. Judging from the evacuation schedule, the residents left Zaporizhzhia a long time ago. They took trains to Murmansk closer to civilization and big hospitals with decent supplies. I should follow the railroad tracks eastward. Maybe I'll find a quicker way to get to Murmansk. Okay, so if I remember this correctly, the hand car does take you exactly to down there where Murmansk is. And I do not want to go down there yet because I am not done searching. I want to search everything before we leave. So, let's go ahead and do that. Hmm. Oh, I forgot. Everything is locked when you're low level. Everything is locked. So, you can't really do much. And I don't want to waste my energy. So, I think we do indeed have to leave everything behind when you're low level. We will come back for everything else. But as of right now, we can't get anything. So, yeah, let's go to the handcart because we, I hate that we can't search anything. As I walked, I found a hand car as old as the railroad itself. Despite its ramshackle appearance, it started to move smoothly when I pushed the lever. I'll definitely get to my mask faster on this thing than my own two legs. Let's keep going. After a couple of kilometers on the hand car, I spotted a stream at the foot of the embankment. It was surrounded by a meadow densely covered with wild herbs and strawberry bushes growing right by the water. A pure, undisturbed spot. Let's search for useful herbs. 
After examining the meadow, I picked a few broadleaf plantain leaves. However, I was while I was busy with that, the sky turned completely dark night. Dark. Night would soon be here. I have to keep going. Night fell. The earth was shrouded in haze. After a couple of kilometers, the fog swallowed the entire world around me. I was tired and started to drift off to sleep. Let's stop and make a count because I do not want to fall off the handcart. I stopped the handcar. I certainly had no desire to fall asleep and fall off the tracks. I built a fire at the foot of the embankment and got ready for bed. Let's go to sleep. In the morning, the fog still formed a wall around my little camp. Nonetheless, I was glad to get a good rest at least, and I continued my journey with renewed vigor. Time to keep going. A couple hours later, the outline of a small station where the railway forked showed from the fog. The railroad switch is set to lead the handcar to the dead end, but its lever is completely rusty. I have to find a way to remove it. Let's inspect the station to see what they have. A concrete platform and dilapidated building. The remnants of bars jut out in front of the broken windows, and deep claw marks are scratched into the locked door. I do believe this is where the Lynx is. Um, we'll have to see real quick, because we don't have an axe. Climb through the window. And we lost health. That is not good. But we do have the plantains. That is good. That is the reason that I went for that instead of the herbs. Or the berries. My bad. I tried to be careful, but I still cut myself on a bar and ripped a pant leg. Let's search it up. I found a half-empty oil can without much searching. I walked back to the hand car, oiled up the railroad, switched its lever, and switched the track. Now I can keep going, or stick around and keep searching. Okay, so I could either keep going, or stay in search for a lynx to attack me. And I do have the torch, so I can get away from the link easily. So let's keep searching. We got some more items. All I found after searching inside was some rope and a bottle of vodka that had been stashed away. I returned to the hand car only to discover a large lynx prowling around it. When it noticed me, it arched its back and hissed. Let's, um, we don't want to throw the bottle at it because we only have one. We don't want to shoot it with the pistol. If we shoot it with the pistol, will we scare it off or will we get the, um, carcass? I'm not really sure because I've never really tried it. Hmm. Ammo is very scary, so we're just going to scare it with the torch. I yelled and waved my torch above the lynx. Frightened, it leaped away and disappeared into the fog. Now I can get out of here. Let's keep going. The fog cleared, and the swamps gave way to woodland. From the depths of the forest emerged another narrow gauge railway. Parallel to the one I was on, a little further on, I spotted a trail, a train that derailed. Take a closer look at the train. The front of the control car was buried in the earth at the foot of the embankment. The freight cars behind it had crumpled into a heap of metal, but a few passenger cars remained on the tracks. Let's... I believe um, the passenger cars and the freight cars have nothing, but the control car does have ammo, if it's still there. Let's go ahead and see. It does. The control car was empty, but I found a small package with a handful of pistol rounds in the conductor's booth. The pistol itself, however, was nowhere to be found. Check the other cars. As I left the train, I noticed a human skeleton in the grass. Wild animals had done a thorough job on the train, tra on the train wreck's survivors. Search for other remains. The trail of bones led to the forest. From somewhere along among the trees, the howl of a wolf suddenly broke the silence. I better get the hell out of here. Go to the hand car, quick. We gotta get out of here. The rest of the wolves, quick. The rest of the, the rest of the wolf packs, joined in the howling. I raced to the hand car and pumped the lever at full speed, trying to stop myself from looking over my shoulder. Let's keep going, cause we have to get out of here. I was getting close to my men's when I noticed something on the tracks ahead. I stopped the hand car and stepped closer. It was a corpse. Examine the body. The body had a filthy coat, a gas mask without a filter, and a traveling bag around the shoulders. In the pockets of, a, of the coat, I discovered a newspaper rolled into a cone. Let's open the newspaper and read it. 
the aggravation of the dialogue in the U.S. The Murmansk City, the Murmansk City administration urged it to be more vigilant. Nothing about war of sickness. This means in July 1984 there was no catastrophe yet. Let's look into the bag. We got five bandages. That's good. We can also heal our health with that. There were there were a few bandages in the bag, as well as a small device in a leather case with a strap. Inspect the device. It looks like a strange radio and a wire was coming out of it with a short metal lube tube on the end. In the letter case, in the leather case, I found an instruction booklet for the disometer radio meter DP five V. Turn on disometer. When I flipped the switch, the diesel meter started to whir. I waved the sensor tube around, and when I passed it over the dead body, the whirring increased. The corpse is extremely radioactive. Remove the body from the tracks. I dragged the body down to the foot of the embankment. Now I knew what had probably killed the poor guy. Radiation sickness had consumed him from the inside out. Let's bury the body. Because I know that when you bury the body, you do get his catch. And I do need that since it's later on in the game. I may be getting exposed to radiation, but at least wild animals won't get it at his body. I fetched some rocks and built a small burial mound over him. Next stop, Murmansk. As I was leaving, I saw a small piece of paper sticking out of the pocket of his bag and the address of it of an house in the city of Kola. What's there? Survivors or supplies? I'll have to go check. When I was just a few kilometers from Amansk, the railway ended at a big crater that had left by an explosion. There's no getting past it. Time to leave the handcar and explore city on foot. All right, that's the entire Murmansk railway mission. Now we have to walk toward Murmansk. It's not that far. We're right next to the safe haven. Let's read some more stuff. I found a small scrap of paper with the address of a house in Kola. It's worth it's worth checking out. After all, maybe I'll find a catch with supplies there. Where is it? It's in the same spot as it always is. That's good. All right, we have a whole lot more reading to do. When I was just a few kilometers, oh, we already read this. All right, it lets us read everything so we don't have to click it. That's good. Let's go to the safe haven, and we have a bicycle. Okay, so this is different from earlier versions of the game you have to craft a bicycle yourself but i guess they give you one for free when you're a noob a newbie not a noob my bad um we do have a bicycle as i stated before we now have a plus 40 kg carrying weight we don't need it as of now so we'll drop it we'll get it whenever we really do need it but also we have a raven in the cage from buying premium and it states, a small raven sits inside the cage and looks at me with curiosity. Let's open it. And now we have a pet raven, which will go to battle with us. The first thing I want to do is let's search Kola, Murmansk, and Servomorsk. That's the first thing I want to do since being in Murmansk. All right. We have to go to check out the survivor's catch. At the designated location, I found a well-hidden bag of items. We have a rusted ax, some soda, some meat, and some more insulating tape. Let's take the items. We have some more reading to do. Do we not? Hmm. I guess it went away. We don't have any more reading. We have more food if we can search it. We do have a torch, but I don't think... Yeah, I think it's only one. So we're going to save it. We don't get anything? I don't think searching is worth it. But we get one XP for searching. Hmm. So yeah, I don't think searching is worth it. Well, I'm calling this searching trip. All right, so once we get back, we are going to settle down because this is our base until we move on to the mission, which is 
somewhere around here i believe is the military base all right and on that guys i'm gonna call it a video thank you guys for watching i appreciate you guys so much and if you like what i do please like subscribe and leave a comment down in the comments saying that you liked the video and share it to your friends as this gives the video more exposure so the algorithm can pick it up and show more viewers thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one